City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. Like now, here's Wendy! <laughs> Let's get started. It's time for hot. Doing hot topics and being a hot topic. In a weird kind of way, Norman, I love the attention. <laughs> right. But it wasn't a plant. It's some sort of weird story going around the internet regarding my husband. Now look, I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. All you gotta do is Google him and you see the story. You can believe what you want, but. Okay. I stand by my guy. <laughs> we commuted this morning. The paparazzi was outside catching me in the cutest negligee. <laughs> oh, well you know, Suzanne, you know I like clothes I... that all you have to do is pluck them off. Yes, I know you do. And to get to the business. Yep. Well, the, the paparazzi was out there, but Mike blocked. And I, I kind of wish my, that's one of my security guys, he blocked, but it was cute. Anyway, all is well in Hunterville. Don't believe the hype. And if there was hype, believe me, you. I would let you know. Uh, by the way, I'll be following this story. So I guess I'll have to watch to find out what happens. <laughs> Cardi B, congratulations. Yeah! Right? So, Cardi B, who's been here on our show, you might have missed that episode. I like this girl. Like, I, I like this girl. She just made history by becoming the first um, solo female rapper in 19 years to top the Billboard Hot 100 for her song, Bodak Yellow. Bodak what the Ebonics is going on? <laughs> no, I know, I know. Badoka, um, Badonky Donk, Yellow, Badoki Doke, whatever. Cardi, congratulations. I, you know. Lauren Hill was the last um, star, believe it or not, to be able to do this. So there was no um, Nicki Minaj in there. Cardi, <laughs> Cardi B jumped Taylor Swift yeah. from the number one spot. Yeah. I think it's great. So, so TMZ caught up with Cardi and she was celebrating and people say she was throwing subtle shade towards Taylor but people are always looking for shade in every story. Take a look. Everybody posted, posted so I could go number one, like without, e without even me asking. Like I, I, I never asked them. 
They just did it voluntarily, every day, harassing their followers. Like, make sure you download and stream Bodak Yellow and look what you make me do. <laughs> First of all, I thought she looked simply beautiful in that, what we just saw. Second of all, the reality of the music business is she might be a one hit wonder. Real talk, can, can we talk? Yes! Who's the girl we sent away from rap? She, left, she fled the country, she went back to her own. Iggy Azalea. You know, like an Iggy Azalea or something like that. I, I don't know whether Cardi B is going to have staying pow power. What I can say about um, Nicki is that Nicki has diversified. She makes clothes. She's one of those makeup people. She sews hair. She, <laughs> she's been on a panel show. Nicki has diversified. I don't know that Cardi B has that. The, the future will, you know, unfold. This is another story I'll be watching. Uh, you know, there are a lot of the girls in rap who congratulated her, including Remy and Missy Elliott and even Nikki. Which Nikki usually doesn't congratulate any girls. So I'm thinking maybe Nikki's Twitter account was hacked. <laughs> <laughs> By her publicist or something. Anyway. Cardi, congratulations, I'm watching, and good luck with your next move. Mm -hmm. We gotta hurry up with this show, cause I'm, I'm telling you, I ordered the most delicious salad, but it's been a hectic morning, I didn't have a chance to eat it. My romaine is wilting on my desk as we speak. <laughs> so I'll talk quick. And Ann is here, you know Ann is here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Why not? So, oh God, here we come with another talent comp. By the way, Wendy, hsn.com. Oh. oh, and the shoes too. Come on, Rambo. Throw it around. Come on, Rambo. Yep. Uh huh. And when I go in the audience, I got the flats to match, but they got a cute pom-pom on the front. Everything's affordable, hsn.com. <laughs> All right, so. There is another reality show coming on TV and my eyeballs rolled around for all of us. So please stop rolling your eyeballs. I've already done it. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, sell it, sister. So Norman tells me <laughs> that. <laughs> Sister. <laughs> Let me have my not time, Norman. Okay. I'm under duress. <laughs> right, right. I, I right. am a hot topic. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ratings of it all. <laughs> anyway, so this show is looking for hip hop artists. I said, okay, I've heard this song before too. Except they've got the best of the best of modern times, Puffy and DJ Khaled. Oh. They say are reportedly close to um, uh, being two of the four judges. Now if Puff's involved, then I know Puff's a producer. So this will be done old school and properly and we will get a winner out of this, unlike The Voice, popular show, but I know nobody who's won. Like, what have you done for the hit parade? Nothing. I don't... Uh, <laughs> I got minimal sleep, pardon my cantankerousness. Uh, so the judges, they say, they're looking for types. So they got a type. A music mogul, that would be Puff. The producer, that would be Khaled. And of course, his, his son on his lap. Adorable, adorable. Oh. Oh. oh my God. I want another one. Oh. oh. I couldn't do that to my kid though. You know what I mean? Like it's a lot of exposure, like under the circumstances. But, so he's the producer, 
then they're looking for two more positions to fill. Songwriter, which by the way, my suggestion is Missy Elliott. <laughs> uh-huh. And an artist, but you can't have all black people on the panel. So I don't know who your artist is gonna be because Iggy Azalea doesn't count. Macklemore had, had his moment. Eminem is too, I think, bitter at, the, like he's not, like Eminem is real, to me, his, his career is very attractive to me. I like his music, my husband gets pissed. I like Eminem's music. I think he says smart things. Uh, or, or tells good stories. But you need somebody white. <laughs> and not Chet Hayes. Yeah. No, no, please. <laughs> AKA white chocolate, Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks' son, who appropriates the culture when it's important. You know, this is Chet from Beverly Hills, but he'll tell you, yo, 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 <laughs> in two seconds. I don't, I don't know who they're gonna fill the panel out with. I don't understand why a show like this wasn't invented a long time ago. I mean, hip hop is everything, even over R&B, to me. And from what I read, and when I spy on my son and his friends, and I'm hearing stuff, <laughs> there should be, and also these talent shows with these panels, like I'm done with them. I want one that encompasses everything. Like, Idol, why don't you open it up to hip hop? And you, you more hip hop. And you should have given Kate, uh, um, Puffy that $25 million because he would have earned it. In the meantime, so Katy Perry has sucked the life out of the Idol budget. But, uh, you know, like if a show like. <laughs> if a show like American Idol encompassed everything. You go on there, you do opera, you do R&B, you do hip hop, you do country, you do what you wanna do. Anyway, this show is gonna be called The Four and it's gonna air next year. And I don't, I'm not invested in the shows that I talk to you about that are already on TV. But this one right, cheer. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Norman, you've got to look online uh -huh. for me coming in the studio this morning. <laughs> Full robe with mink embellishment. You know how I dress right, in normal, right. it, no, this is normal me, but people will be like, oh, what the costume is going on. <laughs> right. Top knot, gigantic glasses from YSL that I stole off a of trendy at Wendy. <laughs> oh, please, I'm not paying. <laughs> um, you know, Norman? Yep, all right, I'll go. As soon as, uh, like, 10.30, I'm like. Green robe, <laughs> pebbles, flintstone, <laughs> cheetah. Pebbles, flintstone. <laughs> Mink slippers. <laughs> okay. My only fear when I commute or I'm riding around like that is if we get stopped by the cops and we get arrested. Cause I don't, I don't wanna be in the cell with you know, a bunch of women like that. That, that. This is not what I asked for. All I'm trying to do is be cute. Now I'm locked up in a negligee. Asking for trouble. So, uh, Meghan Markle, congratulations. It looks like it's about to happen. Yes, we can. <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan, if you haven't heard, just made their first official appearance together as a couple. I'm feeling like we've seen them appear together before, but that's just us. Okay, her shirt is uh, a designer called Husband. It's the Husband shirt. So she's, yes, oh, she's leaving breadcrumbs to the altar. Oh yes, she's, she's letting us know. You see them holding hands, he's leading. Oh my God, the romance of it all. So they were at um, a wheelchair tennis event um, in Canada, Toronto. 
um, for veterans, he's got a foundation of um, Invictus Games. And so Invictus Games partners up with, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He's benevolent, she's beautiful, her family's hood. <laughs> I'm old school, okay? Yeah, we still say hood. Um, I doubted, and you know I'm a woman of my word, you know I cop to everything going on. If I can dish it out, I can definitely take it and address you head on, pow pow. But, <laughs> with that in mind, I didn't think this marriage would, I didn't think this dating would go this far because you know she's got that bankrupt father in Mexico <laughs> and the big mouth sister who's hating on her situation saying that she needs to financially help the family. You know, Megan is no schlump. She's got an acting career, you know, but she grew up Crenshaw and her, her mom is a yoga instructor. Suzanne, what do you make of this? I, you know what, I want them to get married. Yes, I think they're gonna get married. And hoard out the palace. Yes. Yeah. Sure. But I do think they're gonna get married. They're, look how happy they are together. They are. And, and I think, like, I know she's from Crenshaw and all that, but I think she probably <laughs> holds herself together because, you know, she was in our office and everybody was impressed by her. Oh my gosh, yes. wait. Yes. Please stop. Yes. Retail. Yes, she was Go. in her office. She came in, she met with our talent department, Siobhan and Carrie, and she wanted to come on the show. And we were trying to figure out something to do with her. Do you understand She's that we knew the Megan the Marco? Yes, yes. And then and then she met Harry, and then we never heard from her again. Yeah, but she met Harry literally yes. hot topics and the entire staff yeah. here at Wendy. Yeah. Two weeks later, this is the same girl dating Harry. Yep. In the meantime, we had a fish on the hook, yes. but yep. couldn't reel it in. Because yep. we weren't about to have a fashion show. You know we love to use our models who are real life Wendy watchers, but there was nothing going on. Damn it, man. I know, we, I know. But she watches our show. Yeah, she watches she our show and our she show. was amongst us. So we were amongst royalty. Royalty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I will tell you, um, I, uh, I'm not eating crow. It's disgusting. <laughs> but I will say I was wrong. I do agree with Suzanne. I think they're going to get married. But there are seedy people in her background who might try to throw, you know, rocks at the situation. And all Harry has to do is hold on to his girl's hand mm -hmm. and believe in his girl. By the way, Harry won't be a, a, a prince unless six other people die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in other words, he's just like me and you. <laughs> yeah. So she's got this ex-husband. Oh yes, she's a divorcee. Oh yes, seedy family and a past. Oh, his name is Trevor. And Trevor is producing a new show about a divorced American mother who moves to London to marry a British prince. <laughs> you all, I'm on it, as they say, like white on rice. I am following this story. <laughs> following this story. Good luck, Megan. Uh, uh, is, that's her name, right? Megan, Megan. Oh my gosh. Okay. Awkward, 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 awkward. As awkward as being your own hot topic, it's even more awkward. <laughs> yeah. It's even more awkward talking about people that you really like who you know for fact are watching. <laughs> Shout out to the makeup room at The View. They come on live right after our show. They watch all the time. Oh, you're not viewing? That was supposed to be a little louder, you all. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So last week at The View, did you see this episode? Jedediah quit on the air. Well, she says she's, she's 38, and she says that she's leaving to write a book. Well, as an author, I can tell you, that'll pay about one week's worth of groceries. <laughs> Nobody reads anymore, so that's not a reason to quit a lucrative job at the fabulous view. So upon further digging, cause that's what we do. Why should I be the only one allegedly suffering today? <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> sources are saying she was actually fired. Well, of course, you don't leave a, a job like that to write a book. You write that book once you get off the air. Okay. So here's some of the reasons why they're saying she was allegedly fired from the show. Hi, Jedediah, this is awkward for me too. Cause you're, wa you're watching from home, unemployed. They're watching. Excuse me, excuse me. I told you I have a salad waiting. Can we just get to the action? <laughs> She's watching from home. The, the Glam Squad and Whoopi and them are watching because they're getting touched up because they're live. Well, allegedly, one of the reasons that she was fired is because the Glam Squad didn't like her. I didn't realize Glam Squad had that kind of authority. <laughs> hey, yup, hey, yup, hey, yup. Also, they say that, um, uh, well, whatever. It, but in, you know what, in, 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 I don't wanna go too far in, cause I gotta go to these girls. I'm, I'm scheduled to do The View in the middle of October and believe me you. <laughs> now they might cancel cause I'm talking about them. <laughs> Please don't cancel. I'm not gonna ask about Jedediah, but I will be snooping around <laughs> and watching everything. Listen. Look, 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 look. The piece de resistance is Jedediah's fiance, who's 25. Now, Jedediah is, like I said, 38. And Jedediah says she likes young guys and she likes to have fun. She's our people. But her fiance is 25. Well, reportedly, he went to the show and asked them to pay for her engagement ring. Wait, hold, hold on now. Hold, hold on now. So he could propose to her on the show. No! Boom. Uh, the fiance's name is Jeff Shear. I don't know much about his advertising job, but we all advertise something, don't we? Yeah. Just like all girls these days are saying they're models or whatever, you know, bloggers or, or you know, guys. Or, I don't know what he does for a living. I don't know how, other than advertise their relationship with a ring that he wanted the view to buy. I would break up with him. Like I would be so upset right now. I got fired from my job. You're playing me by not being a stand up dude and buying the ring for me on your own. And no, I don't wanna get proposed to on TV. Are you out of your mind? This is Whoopi and, um, and Joy's show. All right, look, speaking of show, we've got more great show for you here. <laughs> From the new show, The Brave, and Paish is here. But up next, our old friend, Matt Roush is back with Fall's hottest TV previews. So, grab a snack and come on back. <laughs> 